uh, our second menu for tonight is a sausage roll prepared by Mr. Ross Jules. 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 <laughs> Jules. Okay, so the, what do we need, Ross? We need the old Woolies Hardy Veg Soup Kit. These are easy sausage rolls. So you can get a prepared one, isn't it? Yes. Okay. One. Already cut up. We need some rough puff pastry. Or the Audi, Coles, whatever it is, home brand, whatever you like. Doesn't really matter. And that's all you need. And some sausage meat. Yes. Sausage meat. Right. Sausage meat. Okay. Alright. So, so that's the case, Emily. Big sausage meat. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Now, <laughs> we cut the top off the sausage meat. Very carefully, just to double take off. Okay. And then we can squeeze this out into the bowl. My hands are clean, I wash my hands. Please wash your hands before you start this. You need to use your hands. You know, um, I have some viewers or subscribers from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And maybe they don't know what's this sausage on. Bad boy meat. Meat, mixture. So what is oh, it? Oh, if I'm from Coles, it's sausage meat. So it's big round package from the Coles or from the supermarket butcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just sausage meat that they put in the sausages, but they sell it separately as well to make sausage rolls. Okay. Right, we we'll do that in the bowl. And then we, yeah, and then we do this, the <laughs> veggies, the chicken meat. Right. No fast sausage rolls, easy as you like. So you have to mix your veggies into the sausage meat. In this packet of stuff, oops, is a so packet of that. that, need that, and that, need that one. So we need this one. Yes, we need, need that one. one. We need the seasoning, uh, it's called um, stock, chicken stock powder. Oh. Need that for flavouring in the sausage rolls. So just cut that open. <coughs> it's not very safe, so be careful at home. I have scissors there. Oh, there you go. Stick that in there like that. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Maybe right. some scissors would help next time. <laughs> We're currently friendly here, South Australia, no cases. Right. And here, you're like, you're like, come on. So we have to mix it all together. It all together. While Emily's doing that, I'm going to prepare the pastry sheets. I think that we need probably five sheets. So, so sausage roll is one of our favorite of Australian finger food, is it? Correct. Finger. Any food. It's good for lunch packs for your kids. For your stomach, as well as your fingers. <laughs> and that's for probably, I'm going to do five sheets this time. I might need all that probably. Oops, it's jumping out. Okay. Right, so while Emily's doing that, I will cut the pastry in half. If you haven't cut any bench, if you like that, I'll just go lightly. Down the middle, so you've got two even sheets, as close as you can. And look at that, and we're just going like a house on fire there. <laughs> and we have some uh, crowd noise in the background. Yeah. And while she's doing that, I'll just put a bit of egg and milk. One egg, a bit of milk in the cup, and I'll just do the edges so when we roll them over, it sticks better. That like also goes on top of the pastry. I don't know if I can get it in this, but that's Alright, my mixture is already mixed together. Right, Give them out for each, each triangle, I reckon. Just put it on, spread it out to the ends. Try to keep it like round if you can, sort of like a cylinder. Good for the kids these food because there's lots of hidden vegetables in here. They don't even know about it. They think they're sausage rolls, but it's got lots of good veggies in it as well. That's why the Woody's vegetables are very good because they're already pre-cut. Saves you a lot of work. Agree? Yes. Maybe it's a bit too much in that one. We can take some out after if it's too much in one. So this is how you're going to trick your kids to eat vegetable. That's right. 
feel like I'm being watched? Mm -hmm. You've been watched by my 200 <laughs> plus subscribers. <laughs> Yes, and all from around the world. Yeah, I have a subscriber from Denmark. Hi. Really? From yes, from US. Hello. Philippines. Philippines. Hi. And okay. Australia, of course. Start out getting that rich. You want to start here? That's it. Just on socials. Use your fingers like that. Start to make it long and round. We're going to that. So anyway, make it long and round. Long and round. Yes. Okay. Go right to the ends of your can, Emily. Ends of the pastry. Uh -huh. Lock one to the end, see? So you just sit it out a bit more with your fingers. Push it down, push it down like that, and it just goes to the end. That's about right. Maybe a couple more bit on the end here. <laughs> Try and make it as even as you can. Nice. Doesn't it? Nice. Nice. Perfect, done. isn't it? Oh, Good job, done. Emily. Mm -hmm. You got an A for that. That's the one that um, Emily done. I'm time. learning Australian sausage roll. Now, what we do, we can get one of these ones. So, guys, so um, here is South Australia. Our quarantine restriction already is in isn't it? That's right, we're going to have 10 people in the house. So we are already allowed to accept visitors, limited to 10. Okay, just make sure that your pastry is cut through the middle, without cutting the bench, which we'll try not to. And then we just roll them. And as you're rolling, you can pull off the blue plastic off the back of the pastry. It can be a bit tricky, but normally comes off pretty easy. This is the way I do it, or it's probably easier ways to do it, but just trying to show you the basics. And we just roll it over like that. I can go on, the, on there ready to go into it onto a tray. You can brush it with milk and egg if you like. Emily. I'll do that. Emily. All right. So you have to brush your sausage roll with egg wash. To make it go brown. In the oven. Okay. Four, six of them. Mm -hmm. It's a bit tricky to get the plastic off, but uh, make sure your pastry is pulled out first, it makes it a lot easier, otherwise your pastry will break if it's frozen. And then you push in your sausage roll once it's been rolled onto the tray. You get your knife and you cut them all evenly in the same place, so they're all the nice same size. So I normally do. And then you put your oven to about 180 degrees. And probably 40 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes in the oven, and they will be ready. And we'll come back and show you when they're cooked. What do you think, Emily? That's good. So we will have two ways of cooking the sausage roll. We will cook one in the oven, and we also going to cook one in the sausage roll. What do you call them? My sausage roll from Kmart. From Kmart. That's sponsored by Kmart, all right? <laughs> The sausage maker, maker is ready. All the sausage rolls, ready to go in the oven. I think they're a bit close, that one. Maybe we'll try and move over a bit with a small tray, that's all right. Try and leave a gap so that it gets the air, puts the sides as well. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're ready to go in the oven. Okay. Beautiful fresh sausage rolls. Your kids will love them, your friends will love them. One appetite. What do you think, Emily? That's perfect. Really good. Look at that.